Hello everyone, my name is VJ and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In the series of the CK questions and answer, today we're going to look into the question number 14, which is around the storage class. So let's get started. The question requires, we need to create a new storage class, NAM storage, uh, local storage, with the provisional rancher.io local path, set the volume binding mode to the weight for the first consumer, and do not make the storage class default. Patch the storage class to make it default storage class. Ensure that local storage is the only uh, default class. And do not, do not modify any deployment and persistent volume. So first, first of all, we're going to check what a storage, storage uh, class is available. So, okay, storage class. So we have got a default storage class named local path. Um, now, we have to create a new storage class with the name local storage. So I come here, um, come into the Kubernetes documentation. I will say storage class. I will open the first link and also we'll take the first manifest, for example. Now I'll create a YAML file so we can give any name. In this file, we do not need uh, parameters. So I'll remove the parameter. And it has asked to leave um, or keep the volume binding mode uh, wait for the first consumer. So I'll leave it that. And um, the important part of this um, template is to have provisional name as a rancher, rancher.io slash local path. And the name should be, as asked in the question, should be local storage. I will come out from this um, YAML file and I will apply it. Now we check the storage class we have got. So as you can see, we have created this stress file and we have got another one, which is a local path. As you understand the question ask us to make this file as a default and remove this as a default which is which is uh, already there so we have to write a command so kubectl patch we are patching a storage class so storage 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 class storage class name so local storage minus p for patching in the single code uh, we're going to start uh, the JSON format or JSON command. So uh, one thing you need to remember, it would be very good if you just open in another tab uh, this manifest, so sc.yml, because we're going to pick up all of this here. So I will pick up this uh, metadata. So in double quote metadata colon double code and annotation annotation paste it again colon and start new bracket and we need to pick up uh, this whole line from here Make sure there's no extra space. Colon. And this is true. And now we have to close all the brackets. So we have got three brackets. One, two, three, and single code. So this has been patched. So if I check if it has been a diff, it, if 
the storage class we have created has become default storage class or not. So as you can see now, local storage is the default. So one of the requirement in the question is that we have to remove this from the uh, default. So we're gonna go back to the command we just used. So you do the same thing, just go back to the command you wrote. So you don't have to write the whole thing again. Um, change this to false and change a storage class name to local path. And now we check again storage classes. And now you can see this has been removed as a default from default um, storage class. And the only one storage class which is default is local storage, which is you have created. So well done. This has been a very good video. Um, I hope you liked it. Please subscribe and like my video so I get more encouraged to make video like this. I'm happy to answer any question. Please feel free to ask any question. And all the best for your exam.